Now we'll be having a look at a potential settlement. This is the Taffington Boathouse. It has quite the sinister story behind it. Lots of blood bugs that you'll have to deal with, so it's the common pest around here. And it seems to be draining off a particularly purple looking Brahmin. Again, pretty nasty. You'll have to clear them all out if you want access to the workshop. But we're not here for that, because that's the easy part. We want the story. What happened here? Who was living here? And where are they now? Upstairs, a steamer trunk, advanced safe, and a few other items. But firstly, we have Margaret's note on Mary Sutton. Let's have a little read of it, shall we? Piece together what exactly was going on here. Mom, Russell has been gone for over a day now and I'm getting worried. We were going to wait to tell you, but we found an old hollow tape from before the war in the boat shed. It sounded like someone had stashed some cams in the drainage at the end of the canal. Russell thought we may be able to sell them for one of the traders. Maybe use the caps to buy another Brahmin. Well, clearly they had one. And, well, it's not doing too well at the moment. Poor Clarabel. Well, Clarabel's safe at Abernathy. But anyway, I'm sorry we didn't tell you. We just wanted it to be a surprise. But that's the second one of those bugs we've seen today. And I think something went wrong. I'm going to have a look for him. Don't worry. I'm just going to take a quick peek. I'll be back soon. Margie. Right. So clearly Mary was unfortunately attacked by the blood bugs here. Sometimes you do get a nasty legendary one sitting about. So again, do be careful. You can unlock the novice door or you could swim under. Swimming under has one little issue though. It should trigger the rifle there. Clearly my head isn't big enough. <laughs> Although the shotgun could certainly prove a little difficult uh, for you to deal with. Now that we've done that, we can swim down the canal. Obviously, Margie talked about some sort of entrance of some sort. And it's called the Malden Drainage, heading all the way down. Sometimes, as I said, you get very nasty ones. This Red Widow one would certainly take a bite out of you. We can read Mary's, or well, Russell's note on Margaret here, so let's see. Margie, I snuck out last night and had a look at the drainage pipe at the end of the canal. It's cracked and it looks like if I clear some of the garbage, I should be able to get in. I think it's an opening they mentioned in that hollow tape. If we can get those cams, we might be able to buy a new Brahmin. I'm going to check it out, but I told mom I was going over to the slog to trade for some tools, so cover for me. I should be back by the evening. Russell never came back. Obviously, we have here that uh, Margaret Sutton tried to go find her, so let's go into the drainage. As the story goes, an old cult once set up in here, and they use cams for their ritual. There are mines. You gotta be aware of that one, as well as two blood bugs inside. Again, nasty ones. Unlock the terminal, and you'll be able to pick up some items in this nice steamer trunk. That's not all, though. Once you take all the items from that, You'll want to head right to the end where a few more blood bugs will make their presence known to you. Cross over the pipe. And here we have Russell. Plus some pledge initiation results. To give us a bit of an idea as to what this place really was. So we'll hit play at it as we look through the rest of the items here. The pledge initiation instructions. Great voice acting by the way for this one. our newest members into this most esteemed fraternity. Before their initiation is complete, they must be prepared to receive the mysteries of our order. You can find the substances necessary to open their minds in the drainage, as <laughs> you all remember from your own initiation. Remember that the pledges should be blindfolded before you bring them up the canal, and keep an eye out for anyone out here. Park. The elders will be by Sunday evening for the dinner, and all new pledges must be present, so stick to the normal dosage. Morto Oblitus Osa! So yeah, some wild fraternity. It's a pity we never find out who or where they're from. It would have been awesome if they had a particular building somewhere nearby. Still, pretty creepy. But you do get the Taffington Boathouse. It's a pretty decent settlement. I'll show you the build limits here. Blood bugs cleared. We can unlock 
the Taffington Boathouse. You can see you have a pretty decent limit all the way over here across the road. And then, of course, you can scrap quite a bit. You can even scrap some of the stuff in the water. If you want to build on the water, I suppose that could be a potential option. Lots of cinder blocks for early concrete. You can see the limit isn't too great on the pier here. So you can't build anything out to the back, which is a bit strange. You would have thought they'd have extended it so you could use the water to build a sort of floating settlement. You can make full use of the house and the boat shed. I tend to use this as a lightly defended outpost. Um, not getting it too overcrowded as building is a little difficult. Although you can be, um, you know, you can use your imagination. And I'm sure you could concoct quite the fortress here if you see people building that up. But once you do, be sure to connect it up to your supply lines, to other settlements, make the area quite safe. In terms of enemy attacks, at least with the water at your back, you really only have to deal with anything coming from the north or south. So turrets on either side here should keep you clear for a little while. And with that, the Taffington Boathouse has been conquered. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.